Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to troubleshoot this particular problem. I'm trying to launch the virtual desktop and it throws the error message. It says something like cannot start desktop. I'll show that to you in a minute. Okay, it says cannot start desktop help desk. So I just try clicking it again and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click another machine and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch the virtual application, okay? So I'm going to launch Notepad and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. It says cannot start app notepad. So both the virtual desktops and virtual applications are facing the same problem. Okay, so in this case, uh, what we can do is we can uh, try to check the services first and see how it goes. Okay. So these are the services on the controller. So if you check the services here, everything looks okay. All services are running. Everything seems okay. Let me scroll down a little bit. Yes, everything seems running. Let's check the status of the VDA machine in the studio console, okay? So I'm going to look for the virtual desktop and I'll check whether this machine is in registered state or unregistered state. It takes a couple of seconds. Yes, it's coming up. All right, I think the machine seems okay. Let me click on it. In the meanwhile, I would like to check the status of this machine on the back end. Okay, the machine seems up. Yes, the machine seems up. So everything looks okay. It's almost there. All right. Okay, the machine is in registered state. Okay, so when the machine is in registered state, there is a communication between controller and the VDA machine. So let's try to do something. Let's try to go back and try to launch the application and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. So, uh, the services are okay. And uh, everything looks good. Let's do one thing. Let's try to use a different account and see how it goes. Okay, let's try to launch this app and see how it goes with a different account. Okay, so we are getting the same error. So multiple users are facing the same issue. So uh, what we can do is at this point in time, we can connect to this particular machine, okay? We can connect to this particular machine and see how it goes. So let me connect. 
Okay, this is the IP address. Okay, it says remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. Remote access to the server is not enabled. Remote computer is turned off. The remote computer is not available on the network. Okay, seems strange. The machine is up. Okay, so if you see here, the machine is up, but it is not communicating. Uh, let's try to ping this machine and see how it goes. Okay, so the IP address is 192.168.162.03. All right, the machine is up. We are able to reach this machine. It's pinging. So 192.168.162.03, 192.168.162.03, okay. So the machine is up. We could ping the machine, but we are not able to take the RDP to the machine. This is interesting. Uh, what we can do is we can uh, uh, check the status of the remote desktop service on this particular server, okay. So let's do one thing. Let's try to open services. So from this machine, let's try to connect to the other machine and see how it goes, okay? So it's uh, VD i03 dot right, dot com let me hit ok and see how it goes okay it's trying to connect Seems like it is taking a while to load. Okay, it says Windows was unable to open service control manager database on VDI03. The RPC server is unavailable. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's click OK. Let's directly go to our server virtualization environment and try to connect from here. Okay, so this is the machine, right? So let's do one thing. Let's try to, let's try to expand this. Let's try to make it full screen and uh, let's try to connect to this machine, okay? All right, let's, let, okay. So let me cancel. So let me type my credentials here. Okay, it says username or password is incorrect. This is interesting. Let me try once again. Okay, we could log in this time. So what we can do is first thing we can check the status of the services here. Let's check the status of the remote desktop service on this particular machine.
okay let me go to services let me expand this so I'll look for remote desktop service here because we were not able to RDP to this machine so where is remote desktop service okay here it is so let me expand this okay if you see here remote desktop services so this service is already in running state okay so the service is already started but still we are not able to connect to this machine for some strange reason okay so what we can do is let me try to come out of this okay uh, let's check a couple of things actually let's check computer first so this is computer let me right click on it there is some kind of bug here so please bear with me okay Please bear with me guys. Let me minimize this. I'm going to type computer, computer management. Okay, uh, let's check the event view once if we could find some details here. So it's the bug on the Zen server. That's why I'm not able to move the cursor properly. So if you go to system logs here, let's see if you could find some important details. system even broker service entered the running state okay all right what is this the windows update service entered the running state okay let's check the application logs as well okay we could see some error here it says license activation failed with the failed error code mm-hmm let me double click on it okay so this doesn't seem like an issue actually let me click on it license acquisition failure details okay this doesn't seem like an issue let me close this let me go to search and type computer right click on it let me click on this excuse me guys okay thank god we are on the screen okay now if you click on advanced system settings here you see system properties okay now let me click on remote here okay so if you see here under remote desktop it, it is selected as don't allow remote connections to this computer okay 
so if you select if this one is selected then we will not be able to connect to this machine so let's do one thing let's change it to allow remote connections to connections to this computer let me okay let me try once again i'm sorry for that okay let's change this it's a bug on zen server so please bear with me let me click on it okay now if you see allow remote connections to this computer is selected i'm going to click okay okay so everything seems okay at the moment now what i'm going to do is i'm just going back to the uh, storefront and i'm going to try to connect to the machine and see how it goes okay so please bear with me okay maybe that could be the reason because if the remote desktop uh, access is disabled then we will not be able to connect to that machine so okay now let's try to launch the machine and see how it goes this time i hope it will not throw the same error seems like it is doing something all right it seems like it is trying to launch all right we are almost there all right we logged in successfully so the issue being uh, we couldn't connect to this uh, machine okay let's try to launch an application as well and see how it goes okay let's try to launch a notepad application from the same server because initially we were not able to launch virtual desktop and also applications as well so let's try to launch an application now and see how it goes all right it is launching fine so we could launch virtual applications and also virtual desktop without any issues so what is the reason for this issue what is the root cause of this problem so the reason being uh, the remote desktop connection is disabled on this particular server okay so it is not allowing any remote connection so if that is disabled then we will not be able to connect to this machine that's why we were not able to launch the application so after enabling it we were able to connect to this machine without any issues okay so let's do one thing now let's try to rdp to this machine and see how it goes so okay see now it is asking for the password so initially we were not able to rdp to this machine now we could rdp all right so we could connect without any issues this time we were able to launch the applications as well so uh, i would like to reiterate the issue was under advanced system settings under remote you have this option here to allow or uh, uh, reject the connection so it was selected as don't allow remote connections to this computer that's why we were not able to connect to this machine so after enabling it after selecting allow remote connections to this computer we were able to launch the applications and also we were able to rdp to this machine without any issues all right uh, i hope you find this information helpful if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye bye